Okay, so we've we've gotten started on building our prison cells here, and uh, we're getting pretty far along with the prison. Utilities are installed, and uh, we're gonna make sure that. Oh, damn it! You just did what I didn't want you to do, you dumbass. Very lock yourself in there. Okay, very good. Okay, let's just continue fixing that. Materials, back to concrete. As you can see, we've burned through a shit ton of money. Absolute shit ton. Just gonna get all these cells more or less up and running. Since we don't have the cloning tool to work with at the moment, we have to do it the manual way. Oh well, say la vie. It's not a big deal. Won't be a lot of work to get everything up and running pretty much. We're going to start with uh, this this group of cells right here, and we'll work from there. Uh, there, just so you guys know, uh, the count I did was a hundred prison cells in here, one hundred prison cells, and there's eighty six shower heads. So that's kind of impressive. Uh, I'm starting to think that perhaps we leave this gap on the edges here, make that into a solitary cell or something like that, because I was planning on putting the solitary cells right here, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter, I guess. I was nervous about the fact that they were going to tunnel through, but if they're going to tunnel through, they're going to tunnel through, right? There's not really much we can do to stop that. I think it's going to be pretty hard for them to tunnel out of this prison at the moment. I mean, we've got it pretty established that uh, they are not going to be escaping so easily. wish these guys would stop being stupid. Get your shit together, you morons! And you guys, come on, come on. Figure it out. I think we're almost out of money, so we're gonna stop building prison cells. Because we just don't have the cash to do it. Because we're poor as shit. We don't even have our workshops, which are going to be the main source of our income. Let's get that not possible, because we don't have a warden. Rooms, offices. Staff. Warden. He is, of course, the most important guy, so we'll give him the first office. He needs an office desk. Oh, the offices had to be 4x4, four four, not 5x5. Five five. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, it never stops, does it? Oh well. And a chair. And a filing cabinet. And shelf that holds books. Last time I checked, the bookshelf wasn't quite in working order, but uh, maybe they fixed that. If that's the case, we'll definitely um, we'll definitely fix that. Why are you stuck on the door? I thought that was resolved, you guys. I moved the door so you wouldn't kept getting stuck. Clearly that didn't work. Let's see what you do. You get stuck? They get stuck on this corner as well. Really, and they get stuck on this door. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's not all the time, it's just some of the time. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Where's the utilities? Okay, so they'll clean up there. up and running. Rooms, that is finally an, a, an acceptable kitchen. Officially the kitchen. And our cantina. How much money we have left? A bit. A bit. Oh, look who it is. Jackass who can't move properly. Let's get these lights dumped, people. I don't like looking at them. Why are they still here? Objects. Door. Get the door, get the garbage, get the garbage, stop getting stuck on everything, and just get the garbage. <sighs> I hate them. I hate them so much, guys. Unfortunately, a lot of these cells don't have any lights in them. Just bad planning, I guess. Nothing I can really do about it. That way every prison cell has a light. These guys are getting hung up so easily, I don't know why. It's very frustrating. I just realized there's a very good escape route for them right here. Just 
just connect the perimeter wall there. Like, look, all they'd have to do is smash through this door, this door, and then they can escape right up that way. I cannot very well be letting them do that. Alright, so uh, we've got enough cells to let the first group of prisoners in here, I think. Working shower. Power. Can't afford an infirmary, y'all. Uh, at yet. Kitchen. Canteen. Well, the basics are all in. Let's just make sure there's no easy ways to escape this prison. That's very frustrating. I hate that. I'll move this doorway. They seem to like to pref they pr prefer the uh, the upper area there. So dismantle materials, concrete, demolish. There you go. They seem to want to stick to the upper side of it. So that's just causing them to get stuck every time they walk past. Okay, demolish wall. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Dirty pool. Okay, well, I think that's, oh my god, I think that's pretty much everything that we can do for right now. God, that is really making me mad. I'm going to fix that. I don't know why they keep getting stuck there so easily, but like, we'll fix the cleaning cupboard afterward. Don't worry about that. That's just so annoying that they keep getting stuck there. Let's grab the garbage and go out there. Okay. I think we've got everything established and taken care of here, guys. I got a warden's office. Why does he choose that one? Why are you a fucking asshole, warden? You know how expensive everything is around here? Stupid asshole. Spent $190,000 building your prison there, warden. And it's not even freaking complete. Asshole. Alright, we'll put a couple phone booths in. Just for these, uh, the criminals. A pool table up here. And some weights benches. All right. I think that'll do it. They don't seem to read books, so I'm not going to bother giving them a bookshelf just yet. That changes eventually. Oh, they need a TV. Can't live in prison without a TV. It's not, that's just not fair. Okay. 
Got a fair number of prison cells here. Now we just got to turn them into actual prison cells. Kitchen's established. That's established. We don't really need to worry about the storage just yet. The workshop, we don't have enough money to build. We need to get some prisoners in here, like, ASAP. Objects, bed. Let's put the bed. Oh crap. We don't even have money to afford a toilet now. Stupid everything. Well, that's unfortunate. We used up too much money. We don't have enough money to be able to get anything accomplished. Uh, let's start bringing in prisoners so we can get some cash. High risk, of course, because we need the money. Hire at least two guards and hire at least two chefs. We can't afford to do either of that. So. Whoops. <laughs> well, it's... It's almost night time. We'll get a little bit of money. I don't know why these guys keep getting stuck so easily. It's very, very annoying. Their pathing is shit. Get your pathing fixed. I mean, it's just absolute trash. Look at this pathing. They just keep getting stuck on every corner. Inrovision, or whatever you guys are called. Get your shit together. Look at this. Every single time. That's going to get really annoying really fast. If the prisoners go through that too, I'm going to be very unhappy. Okay, we got everything in place by the looks of it. Just about, actually. We'll have some prisoners coming in, and 14 prisoners to be exact. Oh dear. Three, six... We can't even take in 14 prisoners. We have cells for 12, and... Not even, technically. We have cells for 16. For six. And there's 14 prisoners coming? Ugh. Hopefully we get some money at midnight. I can at least finish these prisoners. Prisons off. I can speak that be swell. Grand. Just grand. Well, here's hoping that we have enough money at midnight to build a few more things. Those guys are going to get the pipes up. That's a crazy shower facility. I mean, look at the size of that shower facility. That thing's boss, man. 86 shower heads. Well, I mean, there is the potential for 100 prisoners in this cell block. It's a hell of a lot of prisoners. We'll see how the pathing goes with this. This uh, pathway right here. We'll see how they handle that. If they get stuck every single time they go up it, I'm going to turn it back into cells. It's more of an experiment just to see how well they can handle going through this path. I mean, the guards or these guys can actually do it when they when they need to. I don't know what their problem is most of the time, but whatever, we'll figure it all out. Everything seems like it's pretty well built. Let's just try and make sure we got everything here. No, we didn't get any money. No federal grant money. Well, that's... Or we did, and I didn't notice it, or we didn't get any money at all. Not sure. 
And if I fire these guys off, I can't hire guards or nurses with the current money I have, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm definitely going to cheat in some more money because that is annoying as shit. Oh, uh, there's no place to store that because we don't have a storage room because we couldn't afford to build one. Ah! Frustration. So much frustration. Like, seriously. Uh, well, let's just take a quick look over the prison anyway. We've got our cells. Pretty good. Uh, yard is established. Common room is there. Holding cell is there. It's going to be our work areas. Visitation cell is over here. Storage. We'll fix that afterward. Don't worry. The cleaning covers will get fixed. Fix all that. Still have this area up here, which I haven't decided with what to do. Maybe nothing. Probably just leave it like it is. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, well, since we have no money, let's get a fence installed. That doesn't cost anything. God knows we're not installing another one of those perimeter fences at 40, 60 grand a pop or whatever it cost. Yeah, screw that. We'll let those guys get that built. And uh, I think we're going to pretty much call it here since there's nothing else I can really do this episode. I'm going to cheat in a little bit more money just because there's no way to do a let's play without money, right? That's what I always say. So anyway, guys. Hope you've been enjoying this. Stupid warden, I hate him. Hate him already, I hope somebody shivs him. Alright, good, good to see these guys are getting that all accomplished there. Oh, we need to put a door. Oh dear. I can't even afford a door. Uh, I was gonna say we need to put a door at, at like right here, and then then at the other end as well, so that the guards can get in and out of that perimeter. Because right now they can only travel through this perimeter. Wait, no, there's a door on that side. Perfect. Okay, that works out for now. That works good. That works good. Because you see, this door here lets them into this area, and this door here, this door here lets them into this inner area. All right, as long as that's established. I will call it here, guys. I'll see you all in the next episode.